right guys uh, welcome back Hyundai Tucson two liter right over here we got this oil leaks on the valve cover really really bad and we're gonna be changing the gasket let's go all right so there she is that's the part number right there vs 505 83 r r for rubber uh spark plugs uh, whole gasket right there and in the main gasket so that's what we're gonna use and i got this for like what 50 bucks 55 bucks at the store so it's pretty good not bad i'm just gonna give you guys a quick overview here um so pretty much anything that attached to the valve cover and gonna have to be uh disconnected like this cable here, those two bolts, spark plug wire. Um, uh, there's plastic timing cover right there. There's bolts up here. And then this whole thing will come out after you take out those um, five bolts up in the front. And then back here on the side, bolts right there and bolts at the back here in between the injectors and the valve cover and this hose right here going to the intake a couple hoses uh that's pretty much it you know you just have to work your way around that valve cover and then uh that valve cover will start coming out so but first we're gonna clean this up this uh engine is hot so it's gonna be sucks working on this when especially the engine is hot so it's better to uh, work when the engine is warm or cold especially in the morning, work on in the morning, make sure the engine is not running. Let's start doing this and here we go. So first we're gonna clean this up, all this gunk out with the brake clean, stay around here. better to put silicone grease on there when we when we put it back as you can see it's kind of dry silicone will help save that rubber boot Swing it over. looks like this is all 10 millimeter bolts all around here Right, there's two bolts on that timing cover here. Take those off. And uh, there's a couple hose clamp right there, guys. You need to take those uh, hose clamp off. And uh, everything should be uh, detached from the valve cover. And then uh, we'll uh, start taking this valve cover off. So just, uh, just use a uh, Kind of lock all long nose pliers on this one. You just squeeze and pull. That's about it. Be careful, all those hoses plastic, so be careful that you don't want to break those. All right, guys. So make sure to remember five bolts on the front, two on the passenger, five bolts in the back, and one on the driver. That's all the bolts that hold this thing to the head, and it should be easy to come out now. You can see the time timing. Mean, belt is exposed on that side we're gonna be inspecting the belt see if it's cracked or not so let's go we're gonna be prying this uh plastic valve cover out just yeah just use a flat pry bar one or two and then i'll show you how it's done so on the driver's side here and um, show you there's a big fat metal surface right there that you could rest the pry bar that's the head, put your pry bar in there, jam it in, pry it out, should come out. Just like that, you can see that, just peel right off. Oh. 
well. Let's just investigate what's going on here. All right, so you can tell color of the oil. It's gold. Um, that means the engine kind of overheats a little bit and uh, lack of oil change. I've seen this on the Hondas, lack of oil change and the engine overheats. So valve cover gasket on this is so stiff. Look at that, I can peel it off, It'll just come out. It's so dry, this rubber is so dry. Look at that. It's time to change. Gonna have to uh, scrape this uh, silicone uh, gasket right there. Uh, I'm not sure why there's one there. Both side, that side and this side. All right, let's uh, take out the gasket, uh, clean that bug cover, and then uh, let's see uh, how this thing turn out. All right, guys, so you just use uh, soap and water and a brush. Just clean all this grime out. The dirt, the, the oil, and some other stuff. So just uh, elbow grease, do like that. And then I'll show you how this thing turned out in 20 minutes. <laughs> guys I clean around the, the head you can tell it's nice and uh, shiny on this side all around to the back and I'm gonna show you a couple things here uh, now I know why there's a gasket maker on this side there's a little caps little plastic caps right here same thing with here there's two in on that side and one on this side uh, Honda's have those two little plastic caps cam caps that's what they called it so you put uh, silicone RTV on those, um, make sure to clean it off flat on the surface. I use a razor blade to uh, clean them off. So we'll put a uh, silicone on each side here, same thing on back there. And here too, put silicones on there and around this uh, cam caps right there as well. It's pretty tough for me to clean on that area because of this valve cover, but uh, it's gonna put a little bit of a dab of a silicone RTV on that side so that it will seal properly and this is the silicone I'm gonna use is high temp uh, silicone gasket maker RTV I was just kicking around on the shelf over there covered with dust so it's gonna be a first time using this glad I have one of these I did not return it to the store because if I did I won't be having this I have to go to the store and get it so Let's get the uh, get the RTV going and uh, sit for 15 minutes before we put the cover back on. All right, so let's go. All right, so let's start from here. A little dab around there, and then just use this little pick, a 90 degree angle pick, and then spread them out, just like that. Alright guys, so give you guys a really close up here. It's gonna look like that. Nothing fancy, nothing that looks okay. Alright, so let's do the other side. Alright guys, that looks really nice. It's all covered up. Same thing on the back. I'm just gonna have to wait for uh, 10 more minutes. And then uh, while we're waiting, let's put that gasket on the cover. Alright guys, so 
Bob cover is clean. You can see right there, super clean now. Really nice. No oil, no dirt. All right, so let's uh, put this uh, gasket back on here. All right, so first we'll put this uh, spark plug cover hole. Just a little soft mallet, hit it, so it's bottom out. And then now on the main gasket, it goes like that. So I just hit it with a little light of a rubber mallet all around it so that we know that they're all seated right on the hole not too hard okay just a little bit all right guys so that's good i'm gonna have to uh wait a couple more uh time on this here so you see how it's it's not sticking anymore that's that's what we want see a little bit but try this side Okay, I think it's ready to go now. When I touch the silicone, it's not sticking on my hand. So the engine is hot already. So it helps out dry and uh, cure that silicone. Make sure clear the area when you put the ga gasket, bulb cover gasket on. The technique here is uh, start from this side and then we'll lay it down flat on the driver after so here we go watch on your spark plug hole line it up here because you can't see around it and especially the back so use your spark plug hole to guide you so it sits like that you see how the spark plug hole it looks like nice and uh, flush so that means uh, everything should uh, line up with my holes for the bolts. Okay. Push it in. And I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Rock it a little bit. And I think I'm good. Now let's start putting the bolts. All right, guys, we're just going to use this uh, drill uh, to bottom out all these bolts, but we're not going to tighten them out yet. We're just going to bottom them out. So let's just start in the middle. This is a little snug, okay? Just a snug. And after that, we're going to torque them down. So all the bolts are bottom out. We're just gonna do this one here last because just just nothing. It just holds the bulb cover to the timing cover. So this bolt is just gonna have to do it later. Torque spec on all those bulb cover bolts are right here. I have to print them off. So all those bolts right there, uh, 10 Newton or 7.4 foot pounds. Yep, it's a foot pounds. That's what the website, I double check the website, 7.4 foot pounds, or you can go 10 Newton. So I got this uh, number 10 right there, and that would be, this is inch pounds actually, sorry, inch pound, so it'll come up as a 95 inch, inch pound right there. 90 plus 5, 95. Alright, so we're gonna torque this. Uh, I can't find the torque pattern doing this uh, bulb cover, but I've done so many bulb covers, and uh, basically, you start from the inside out, crisscross. So you go up, down, up. That's the middle, and then you work your way out after. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, guys, so let's start in the middle here. So you can tell it would click 
when it hits to that part. There you go. See? That's one. There you go. Two. Three. And just add a little bit of extra. Next. This is the last one in the middle. Now we're going to work our way out, outside. And then the last one. And now uh, I'm going to run all the way to the front and all the way to the back just to make sure we didn't miss anything. That's it guys, it's done, broke the spec. Last one is the, those two bolts right here in the bulb cover. Bolt this thing down. This thing has no torque spec on this. It's just a cover so that timing cover won't plop around the area when, it's, when the engine is running. All right, so let's start putting all this uh, uh, spark, spark plug back in here. We're gonna put grease on that first. Uh, the trollo cable, the bolts for that. There's uh, hoses here. There's two hoses. We'll put that back in there. So electric silicone grease for this spark plug connector. That's what we're gonna use. I'm just gonna go around here. A little bit of inside. Just like that. It's so, it looks so nice, guys. Look at this! Wow! So this is done, guys. This is it. Everything is torque. Double check everything. Make sure everything is back to where it was. And that's it. Put the cover back on there, and then. But right now, well, let's see. Uh, let's start it up. Two ten kilometer. I thought it was one sixty six, but two ten. It's just start on one key. Turn key. It just start right away. Uh, a little bit of a dry wire loom right here. We're gonna put a brand new one. Or fix that up. It's good to me, boys. It's a fix. Let's wait for another uh, couple weeks here. Couple weeks to see if there's anything that uh, a leak coming out of this valve cover. But for now, we'll say that uh, it's good. We'll come back in a couple weeks. Let's see how it goes. So that's it, guys. This is a Tucson 2 liter. Same thing as a Kia Sportage. Same engine. This is it. Signing out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.